Hi, what's up, y'all? It's Cracking What's Poppin' It's D. About to react to this vid. Joe Budden responds to DDG violating and threatening to cancel him. So, people were telling me to react to this from the video from yesterday. They're like, hey, Joe Budden said something again on his actual podcast this time. Because <laughs> before, he said something on, I think that was Spaces. Um, but now, he's speaking on his platform. After the first time, he said, oh, I'll never speak about DDG again. Did you use this is the first and last time you'll ever be discussed on this podcast? But that that is not true. He has come back to say something else. So yeah, let, let, let's hear what he has to say. Let's go ahead. In the wise words of Tory Lanez, are we apologizing or are we shooting the fade? Now, over the last couple of days, this Joe Budden and Diddy G beef Fantastic. has taken a wild turn. After Joe Budden pretty much called them out and showed them no respect on his podcast, Diddy G has taken this beef to a whole new level. After he clowned Joe Budden on Twitter, Diddy G also took to his podcast and also That's did a live man. stream as well, clowning Joe. Because uh -huh. I done seen him hate on Kai for Drake shouting him out. It ain't, it ain't about... A demo or nothing. You know exactly who niggas is. You just trying to hate. You just trying to trying to uh, get some views, get clipped. Everybody in the world is talking about this situation. And I want to say this: if I was a lame, if I was a lame, y'all would not be po posting me, bro. Y'all wouldn't be. That don't make sense. Lames get posted every day. I would argue that lames get posted more than everybody else. People like to laugh at them, <laughs> make fun of them, and, and cook them. So, hmm. Posting me at all. If I was a lame and I was sure. just Allie's baby daddy, y'all wouldn't be posting me, bro. If I was a random nigga, y'all see what happened? In the other situations where people got divorced or broke up, or whatever y'all don't see nobody talking about them for longer than 24 hours it's a it's a whole it's well you keep doing things to make people talk about you more and people are coming back to cook you again and to comment again on what you got to say so you keeping it alive if you just stop talking about this then people will stop talking about it but you keep coming back to add more things and and mysterious screenshots from fake close friends get gets leaked and you know all this stuff keeps occurring so that's why this is being talked about so long the whole everything about me if hallie was with a lame a random nigga with no motion whatsoever y'all would not be talking about them whatsoever don't matter if they broke up or not y'all would not care Y'all care because I'm somebody. Stop playing with me like I'm a nobody. I didn't seen a thousand TikTok I don't think he's a videos nobody. about me, bro. I don't know none of these folks. From straight to gay to lesbian, every single orientation, sexual orientation, this is good to every him. single uh, gender, every single age range, as you can see, talking about me because I'm DDG. If I was Mr. Uh, if I was Jack from down the street, bro, yeah, I would not care. So stop acting like y'all don't know something. Obviously, everybody been talking about this for a reason. Okay? We both powerful. That's what happens. Tell that man to show his damn molars, please. Because I bet they're yellow. He's purposely being up to. So Come on. Stop. Let's you talk real life since you got money. To talk. I'm continuing to talk about it because you keep doing new stuff. Come on, man. He's not happening <laughs> like that. He's and people are saying, people. oh, this D, podcast. this happened. He's not putting that much money in his pocket. React to this. My podcast is going to be 10 times bigger. And I ain't no podcaster. You resorted to podcasting because you couldn't be a rapper. You made a cheerleading song for Bring It On. That's how I know you from. The trampoline park and Bring It On. That's the only place the I know you from. Park. This is a lonely man. Wait till I find out who your baby mama is. I'm gonna keep looking. Yeah, I'm single now. Nah, don't, hey, don't play with me, boy, because you know, y'all know how I get, bro. Y'all know how she I get. She right in pregnant. Y'all know how I get, bro. I don't play. I don't play. Don't play with me. I don't know about that. Y'all better tell him what I be doing. Y'all better tell him. Oh, tell us more. I don't, tell give, fuck. I don't, I don't give a fuck who it is. Y'all find his girl immediately. Immediately. Pronto. I'm on it. I'm on all bullshit with you for the rest of the month. I need a 30-day 
Joe Budden Cancelman. Right. I don't even know if cancelman a word. I'm only right. the whole time. Have to At say? this point, yeah, DDG you. is fully dedicated to not only canceling Joe Budden, but pretty much trying to end his entire career. Now, today on the Joe Budden Podcast, episode 765, a lot of people wondered, will Joe Budden apologize and walk back his disrespect on DDG? Or will Joe Budden double down and turn up for the fourth quarter? Here's Joe Budden's response back to DDG. I'm going to get to you later, buddy. <laughs> and I don't know if I am because I fucking went and did research and now I like you a little bit. But you better look. Now, the kids know him. Jay always give me a whole. Jay always give me a whole breakdown. I'm scared. I'm sitting on the side. I think he's probably saying he likes him because he respects that. He respects the grind. Because that's one thing you can't take away from DDG. Okay, he's been grinding for years with this YouTube shit, and has managed to, you know, keep his name out there in one way or another. And people can come with this all day and be like, "Oh, he been got clout. He been relevant before." Highly blah blah blah, and it's like yeah, on the internet mainly, and yeah, some people knew some of his songs, but he was not he was not mainstream until highly. So if y'all want to be in denial about that, you little fanboys, you can stay in delusion, but everybody else knows the truth. <laughs> okay, so this brought him to a mainstream level, getting with her. So whether this was strategic or not is up for debate. But he has managed to keep his name out there. And when your name is constantly out there, people are tuning into you and what you're doing. People are tuning into this podcast because they want to see what else he has to say about Joe Budden or Haley or whatever. So he knows how to keep people's attention. So you can't take that away from him. Whether you think it's lame or not, again, that's another conversation. Because <laughs> you can argue that, okay, this is corny and there are better ways to make money. Whatever. You know, um, so... There's that, but so I think that's why Joe is saying he likes him. So much because let's be clear, he's not popular because of his music, and this is no shade, but it's not. That's not why he's popular. It's because of his ability to keep his name out there and keep chasing the cloud. And it's like, yeah, he got the cloud because he keeps chasing it. He he keeps doing you know this this and that to to keep himself relevant and and keep his name in the headlines. This is all strategic, I would argue. But I do think this is actually starting to get to him. I could hear it in his voice. The kid, but I ain't gonna JR gave me a whole breakdown yeah. on our way to the airport from Jamaica of who he is, how he was DDG'd out. I'm like, what are you talking about? No, he's, the, he's one of the first. Th- yeah, the first OG. He's, he's the OG of that. Yeah, sure. JR gave me a breakdown. Why don't y'all keep dick riding? Yo, stop saying stop. <laughs> <laughs> I already gave him enough props. Here y'all go. No, 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 no. My little brother. Let us get. Let us get. Let us get. Let us get. He did it to the hour. He did it to the hour. I just gave him some credit. Here y'all go. Yo, if I'm beefing with a nigga, don't stand behind me. Are you rolling back your point? If I'm beefing with a nigga, don't stand behind me and give the nigga credit. Are you rolling back your We end up falling prey to your stupid shit you say out your mouth. Don't be afraid. Don't, 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 nigga. No, we want to clear this shit up because you fucked it up for us. See, well, I don't know how I feel. You should. I gotta see how I feel. your mistake. Is that funny? You usually acknowledge wait, your mistake. Wait, 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 wait. Acknowledge, acknowledge your mistake. Yeah, you, I didn't make a mistake. You did. You, you, yes, you, yes. What mistake I made? You spoke on a person's relevancy outside of what you might have known. Everything I said. That, that guy, was, that guy is relevant in the I space mean, that he's yeah. relevant in, just like you're relevant in the space that you're in. Okay. He Speak wasn't mainstream you. yet. I am. <laughs> Whatever. And you speak for you, and yeah. everybody in here speaks speak for, for you. I think yeah. whatever. I'm okay. about don't speak for me, nigga. Okay. okay. I don't feel like I need to apologize about a motherfucking thing that okay. I said, and I'm here to trickle down in some of the stuff I said. But he's a young kid, Period. and I do like him a little bit after I researched, and I see some similarities in us. So I'm gonna give him mercy because I can squash him like a fucking black eyed pea in my hand if see, I fucking felt like it. See, you know the fuck you talking to? Yeah, I'm talking to you. Right. You're on bullshit. Like That's bullshit. Sometimes I be on bullshit. Mm-hmm. Acknowledge it. it, 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 it. We just said acknowledge your bullshit. Sometimes right. I be on bullshit. Man. Long ago, I made life choice. Be cool with people. Or. 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 Pod. And take the things that come with. Pod. Mm-hmm. I took the red pill. Mm. You I oh. don't care. And that's what DDG needs to know. <laughs> Some Sorry. people, when you get my age, <laughs> don't give a fuck. Oh, shit, that 
Quincy. About who you are, <laughs> where you from, how you dress, how you smell. I don't give a fuck about none of that shit. Nigga went and followed my girl. He offered the kids some snacks. And I called Ack and I said, okay, if that's your man. <laughs> fuck that nigga. And then Ack gave me some information about DDG, which I didn't have before, which I honestly respected, one. And two, I wasn't mad at it. Can we ask what it is? I wasn't mad at it. Ack <laughs> explained to me that he sees similarities in... DDG and myself. I said, well, what might those be? Uh, he says the DDG seems to be caught between a uh, music and content space. Mm -hmm. He said he's someone much like you that was early on the internet, early with the vlogs. He had a run on Vine. He was able to move that audience much like you over to YouTube. And he got popping on YouTube early and kind of paved the way for some of the streamers that you know today. Mm -hmm. He said, and then he stopped with all the money that he was making. He decided to stop for whatever reason Oops, and pursue a career in music. And he's passionate about it, but he's being viewed a certain way a because the people think he's corny or people think he's immature or people think whatever they think. So he says he's fighting through some things right now and he's doing the best he can. And the relationship with Holly might not have helped him because you get with this superstar girl because you might be a good dude. And he said he's got some girls before, so I've got to put some respect on his name. Mm -hmm. It's not just Ruby Rose. He said he's moved around out there. I appreciate that. Much like myself, who did that as a corny broke nigga. So I identify. Uh, so he said he got with the girls, helped them. Mm -hmm. Like, gave them the blueprint to kind of help become what some of them have became. Uh... And he said he's doing his music now and he's just facing backlash from a, a fan base that's much larger than his saying, yo, you ain't shit, you didn't deserve her, yada, yada, yada. Mm -hmm. So now he just got an uphill battle. I felt for that. I did. Uh, and the same way, I don't know shit about him. He clearly don't know shit about me. So do I want to come in here and use my powers for evil and fucking just end this nigga for sending all these bots my way? So I don't want to come on here and, like, perpetuate that type of energy. Do I think I could beat the doggone dog shit out of DDG whenever I felt like it? Yes. Uh, do I feel like that DDG can't talk none of that shit he was trying to talk to me? Yes. But I think that would be irresponsible. I think that would be irresponsible. I think that that, that young man needs some support right now. And who better to give it than me? Now, come on, Joe. It's okay to just come out and admit that you were wrong. It was irresponsible of you to speak on him as if he was irrelevant. You can kind of tell Joe wanted to apologize, but because Diddy G has pretty much violated and taken it to a whole different level, backing down and apologizing to him would seem... What did he say exactly? He said that Diddy G was irrelevant. Okay, if he's, he used those exact words, then yeah. Sure, he's misinformed. Just because you don't know someone doesn't mean that they're irrelevant, you know, overall. But I thought that he was saying, I thought he said, like, oh, a lot of us didn't know about you until you got with Holly. I thought that's what he said. And I would say that that, that is fact. <laughs> that is accurate. I mean, obviously, I followed DDG since the beginning of his career. So I know him because I'm on YouTube. And a lot of people, especially younger kids, they live on YouTube. So, of course, this is the whole world to them. So they're like, what do you mean? DDG is the most popular person in the world. I don't see him every day. Because y'all are on YouTube every day. And this is your life. And no shade because... It's my life too. It's my job. <laughs> so I know a lot of shit too, you know? But that does not mean that every, everybody does not live this life. Most people are not online <laughs> as much as y'all y'all think they are, especially YouTube specifically. Like they might watch a video or two here and there, but they're not aware of like the popular people in this space. And they might be, you know, in the shade room comments, might leave a comment or two. They keep up on like shit like that on IG or TikTok, but they, they're not aware of, of people like DDG. So I would argue that a lot of people were, was unfamiliar with him before Holly. That has, you know, brought him to a more mainstream level. It's just a fact. There's no shade. It just is what the fuck it is. Um, but Joe was a bit harsh in his criticism.
in a week. Everybody around Joe has pretty much told them, nah, DDG is that guy you were wrong about, you said about him on the podcast. As a matter of fact, you guys would actually have a lot in common if you guys actually sat down and spoke with each other. It's a very awkward and interesting position to be in, but it can all be avoided with just a little bit of research. So now if you're DDG, what do you do? Do you continue to attack Joe? Do you continue to disrespect them just like he did to you? Do you now try to set up a boxing match? Or do you just have a change of heart and come to realize that this older person that's really not in your generation just misspoke? Despite everything he's done on stream going at Joe, I don't think Diddy G has a heart full of evil. So it's going to be interesting to see what he does moving forward. You... I think DDG is going to continue to capitalize off of this because this is what he does and this is what he knows. So he's going to take a bad situation and try to flip it and uh, benefit from it as much as he can. Um, I do think this is affecting him, though. Like, I, he's a human being. So I don't think for a second that he's just unbothered by this and it's all a troll and he don't care at all. Bullshit. Like, I do think that this is getting under his skin, but you know, two things can be true it's getting under his skin, and he also wants to profit from it um, and, and keep his name out there as long as he can. So, yeah, he's really good at you know, uh, milking his moment and getting as much out of it as he can. And you know, it is what it is that's his, his lifestyle and his life. So there's that uh but I, I i highly doubt if joe will say anything else ddg might keep talking shit and i'm not gonna keep reacting to all of the updates because i feel like he gonna keep making comments but um I, i'll just leave it here as far as joe and ddg goes anyway y'all let me know what y'all think though let me know what other videos you want to watch and i'll see y'all the next time bye